Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela and today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely roses made of felt. Uh, on the back of the flower there is a brush pin so you can pin the brush um, on your clothes and even men like this type of brooches. Especially they pin them on their suits in weddings or other special occasions. Also, I will show you uh, these roses, how they look made of other materials, so wait for it. But first I will show you how to make them of felt. So we need a piece of felt, about one millimeter thick, small piece of cardboard, compass and ruler to prepare a template, scissors, tweezers, glue gun, and a brush pin, that's all. First we prepare a template, we draw two circles, one will be 24 millimeters, it's a template for petals, and the other will be 20 millimeters for the back of the flower. Or you can use this roller with circles. It will be 20 millimeters for the backing if you use this type of brush pin. Or choose your own size, it will cover the back of the, of the pin. Uh, the size depends on what type of component you use. And we cut it. Now we cut six felt circles according to this template. And then we cut them to half. Now I heat the glue gun, take one piece with tweezers and roll it. And put some glue on it. Oh, wait a while to cool down the glue. Now take another piece of felt, put a small amount of glue on the edge and place it on the first piece. Take another piece of felt and do exactly the same. Put some glue on the edge and place it. Uh, try to do it in spiral. Uh, cover approximately one half of the previous piece with the new one. And continue until we glue on all 12 pieces. Hey. 
So now we cut the 20 millimeters circle to cover the back of the flower. The rose is finished and now we attach brush pin. First we remove the protective cap. Then we take the 20 mm piece of felt, put it on the brush pin to cover the back. Put on some glue. And place it on the back of the flower. Squeeze a little bit and let it cool down. Now place the cap back. And that's all. It's completely finished. It looks quite cute, doesn't it? Also, I like to make these roses from different materials, such as an author's weight. By the way, I also use this material to cover the back of my bead embroidery jewelry. The instructions are the same as we made the rose of felt, uh, but this author's suede is smoother and it doesn't fray at all. Um, it's a very good material. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and see you next time. Bye!